I cheated on a wonderful man and guilt is eating me alive. How do I tell my husband about my two-night stand? I met my hubby, 30M, five years ago, and we've been married for three years. My spouse is Indian, and I'm white. We met at university while we were both students. He had been quite occupied with a project he had been working on for the previous several months last year. As a result, I wasn't receiving the attention I was accustomed to from him, and his ex was uncommon. I was on a business trip for a week in November, and one of my colleagues from a branch in another city was continually hitting on me. So on the final two nights of the vacation I succumbed. To be clear, I'm not attracted to this man in the least. It was only that he caught me at a vulnerable point. On the way back, I understood what I had done and chose not to tell anybody. I figured there was no harm, no foul, and I was okay with it. But in December, I had a little mishap, I went down the stairs. That resulted in a slight fracture in my arm. After that, he took excellent care of me. Despite the fact that I healed rapidly, I was not permitted to undertake any home tasks until the end of January. He was in charge of all home tasks. During that time, feelings of remorse began to sneak in, with ideas such as if he understood what I had done, he wouldn't be here. Nonetheless, I resolved to deal with my guilt. Then, towards the end of January, he was promoted for his contributions to the project. We held a modest celebration with some of our friends at a restaurant. Our pals were curious as to how we met. He was giving me the whole narrative about how I asked him to buy him a drink on a dare, how he doesn't drink, and was just hanging out with his pals at the pub. So, when he told the narrative, I observed the sparkle in his eyes, the way he looked at me, and the pride he feels in me. I felt like I was about to burst from the weight of my guilt. He's now talking about having children and forming a family. As much as I'd want to, I've opted not to tell him anything that occurred before having children. I am terrified that he will abandon me. The likelihood of a divorce is high. He is a guy of great morals and principles. I'll inform him after this Valentine's Day weekend. He once informed me that he wanted to try new things. So, this Valentine's Day weekend, I'm going to fulfill his wish. I'm going all out Christian Grey on him. I've planned every disgusting thing I'm going to say to him. The next three days will be all about him. I hope that once I tell him the truth, he remembers this and believes me when I tell him how much I love him and that he is the most important person in the world to me. I hope he gives me another opportunity so that I can show him how much he means to me every day for the rest of our lives. I simply don't know what to say to him to boost his chances of remaining. Please assist me. Update. I'm still unable to tell him of the situation. Our Valentine's Day weekend was just wonderful. My intention, as I said in my last piece, was to surprise him with a novel experience. He liked the surprise and enjoyed himself as a result of it. I was expecting the Zex to be rough, but it ended up turning into Zex by accident. It was a long journey from saying, you've been a really terrible child, to saying, I absolutely adore you. As I looked at him affectionately, it was as if we had exchanged a thousand words without speaking a single word. I felt on top of the world at the moment, and he looked at me lovingly in return. My hands were all over him, and he was tied to our bed by his chains. I believe I am in love with him even more today than I was on our wedding day. When I eventually decided to tell him, my fear of losing him exceeded my desire to tell him the truth about my situation. It's as though my brain and my mind are at conflict with one another at the moment. Since last month, I've started seeing a therapist on a regular basis. I haven't told him that I'm seeing a therapist since I don't want him to be aware of my mental health issues at this point. For some reason, he feels I'm sad or melancholy about anything at the moment, and so is exerting every effort to make me laugh. He made me laugh by tickling me until my stomach hurt just a few days ago, and he made me laugh again by tickling me until my stomach ached only a few days ago. My therapist recommended that we invite him to a session so that I may be completely honest with him in front of a professional but I'm still not persuaded by her recommendation. I reflected on the reasons for my betrayal of him. As if I were mentally asleep at the time, I couldn't think straight. Because he was so busy, he was unable to provide me with the attention I felt I needed from him. My curiosity was piqued by reports of couples losing their attraction for one another. So I figured this was the start of my period. As a consequence, I took my frustration out on him by cheating on him. Not that I thought he was particularly attractive. What mattered was that he was paying attention to me in a way that I appreciated. Some people advised me that giving him the truth would only do him pain. I didn't believe them. This makes him one of a kind in that way. Although he is not easily hurt, he never compromises his integrity, no matter how bad the injury. In terms of his personality, 
He is a self-assured guy who is conscious of his actions and sentiments. During our first several months of dating, he was upfront about the fact that he is not only a virgin, but that he has also never kissed a girl. His first and only girlfriend is none other than me. This was a whole new experience for me. As a consequence, honesty is the foundation of our working relationship. I don't want to be honest just for the sake of alleviating my guilt. I want to maintain the foundation of our friendship intact. However well he manages his agony, he will definitely be disappointed with the outcome and will eventually divorce me. It's important to me that he doesn't leave me, but I also want to maintain the foundation of our relationship in place. This is the issue that I'm worried about. This is the best thing that has ever happened to me, and I don't want to lose it all because of a careless error on my part. These are the two possibilities that I'm debating at the moment. It seems like the only thing I know for certain about him is that I admire him. Story 2. How do you forgive and get over cheating when you've never even been cheated on? My father abandoned my mother and me when I was a child in order to marry another lady. While they were still dating, my brother cheated on his wife hundreds of times, while my sister was dumped by her ex-boyfriend. In general, every woman in my family has been duped at least a couple of times. Fast forward to the present, and I have trust difficulties as well as commitment concerns, all of which have forced me to leave previous relationships, including the one I am now in. I've always dated and been with nice people. But the issue is that I typically terminate things before they become complex because I tell myself, if all of those individuals who happen to be members of my family were able to do such a thing, what makes me believe you are any different? As a result, I chopped it off before they had a chance to do so. In my social group, there was a couple in which the female had cheated on the man. I've had nothing but hatred for her ever then. She is someone I loathe. I no longer consider her a friend since she is harsh, unapologetic, and continues to get away with infidelity without consequence. Why? Because he consistently responds to her affection. Four years have passed, and our friends are only aware of the first occurrence, while I am aware of the other two. The man compelled me to pledge not to inform our mutual friends. My hate consumes me, and I sometimes project my frustrations and problems onto my partner by temporarily disconnecting him from the rest of the world. That has occurred to me to tell all of our acquaintances, but I'm not sure what advantage it would bring me, other than peace of mind, or what the repercussions would be. The fact that I've had this trust problem for who knows how long has harmed my previous relationships with individuals who did not deserve to be discarded just because of trust concerns demonstrates how terrible it has become. My parents were always patient, kind, and understanding, and they were a constant source of solace for me. They were always the greatest when it came to them, while I was always the stumbling block. I continue to be fortunate in that my current spouse has all of these attributes. I told him the other day that I was going to therapy to win this long-running internal fight, and that at the very least I wanted to be happy, free of ideas like, he would undoubtedly cheat on me eventually, and this is going to end anyhow, so why not do it now? Whether I'm rude, spiteful, and full of pessimistic ideas, or even if I express a wish to leave, he always treats me with dignity. But please, I'm asking for feedback and ideas on what I may be able to do. I can no longer maintain my mental and emotional balance in this way. 